In this video, I'm going to be walking you through kind of what I do and why I do it in a live online money game in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through tips and strategies just like this one, through breaking down gameplays. Um, and so I'm just really excited to share this video with you. Now, again, if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to do that. That way you're going to know whenever we release new videos that should be able to help you become a better player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. All right, guys, so I got a money game gameplay for you. I'm the Packers. My opponent is the Chiefs. So going to be interesting to see kind of, um, you know, kind of what his strategy is going forward here with, with everything. But we're going to start off here on defense, and I'm running my 3-3-5 wide defensive ebook. Now it looks like he's going to run some 5 wide, and 5 wide is actually really, really good in regs because man coverage is not as good as it is in Madden Ultimate Team. So going to be an interesting uh, matchup here. Hopefully we can get out, come out with a W. Now this is for money, um, so we are playing for some money on the line here. So anyway, it looks like he's going to go to uh, single back wing. Whenever you're on your first drive, one of the things that, uh, especially when you play the Chiefs, I will almost never, ever, 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 ever take the safety away from Tyreek Hill. I just can't live with giving a one-play touchdown over the top um, to Tyreek Hill. So you're going to see probably some more man coverage that I normally run, some more safety help over the top than I normally run um, to kind of deal with to kind of deal with Tyreek Hill a little bit but like I said I'm you know first drive everything that they do um, is kind of random right you don't know why they're doing it you don't know what they're even doing you're just trying to kind of figure out you know what are they doing why are they doing it and right here gonna go up and that's the one thing we should have not allowed um, is Tyreek Hill over the middle of the field so automatically what I'm gonna do and because of the way that and again you start kind of feeling out based on the formations and kind of what they're doing you can kind of identify just a little bit of you know kind of trends and things like that and so I'm automatically going down into um, the cover four and the reason why is because I just I don't want Tyree kill to kill me over the top so we're gonna sit in cover four quarters uh, and that should have been an interception right there now when you're playing for money one of the things that's important to do on my opinion is realize that it's it's it is different than playing a regular game but at the same time it's actually very similar and so um, one of the things that you have to you know really I think get good at is you know letting little things not not letting the little things eat you alive like the dropped interception or Tyree kill over the middle or you know little little things you have to be able to bounce back through that a lot of that's gonna happen in the course of a game and Everything, the stakes are a lot higher, uh, obviously, whenever you're playing for money. So uh, right here, we're going to go with a little Mabel coverage on that left side. Uh, we've got a crossing route right here. We've got an in route, and there's an interception for Jackson, and we're going to be able to try to get out of there with him. Now, um, we're going to be able to get the ball back, so we've we got to be excited. Now, whenever you're playing for money, everything, like I said, heightens. And so uh, offensively, we're running the bunch tight end offensive ebook. Now, really quickly, before I head any further into the offense, if you want to get the whole – uh, offense and defense that I'm running. The offensive ebook is in the description and it's just 15 bucks. And the defensive ebook is also in the description and it is just 15 bucks. So relatively affordable. And uh, if you have any questions about that, just hit me up via text message. And like I said, both of those ebooks are in the description. So whenever you come out here, obviously the momentum has shifted, right? I get ball at half and I have to remember that. And so part of competitive Madden or just playing for money or really just, I guess, trying to win, um, you know, it's the little things. It's throwing the ball away when there's nothing there. It's um, not taking sacks. It's it's little things like that um, that really does make a big, big difference in the big picture um, of how this works. And so you're going to see I'm going to play a little bit different, even than I probably played um, in some of the Madden Challenge here, utilizing different strategies um but really it comes down to execution. You know, if you execute 
you're going to win. If you don't execute, you're not going to win. But it's all about perfecting your reads. And right there, a lot of match coverage. we got a massive mismatch. Devontae Adams matched up with a linebacker over the top, and that is an absolute laser. That is match coverage, um, a, a match coverage beater out of the bunch tight end, a very effective one. Um, it's, it takes a similar concept from trips tight end and applies it to bunch and does a really, really good job. We're able to get over the top for a one-play touchdown. And now everything has changed now um, just as far as how the game is going to go, as far as our strategy. You know, defensively, there are so many possibilities of things that you can do defensively. You can play match coverage. You can blitz. You can play zone. You can use zone drops. You can play Z zone default. You can play cover three, cover two, cover four, all kinds of different possibilities. Um, you know, and as you kind of work through this, um, one of the things that we noticed is he likes to have Tyreek Hill in the slot. So we're going to move Jair Alexander into the slot to try to get a better matchup. That's one of the things that's a lot different than Mutt. You know, when Mutt, everybody is, you know, 99 overall, and everybody kind of has the same ratings. Whereas in regs, it's a lot about matchups. It really is. And so you'll see here, now he's going to run that same post route that he killed us with over the top, and now it's not going to be there. He's going to have to throw the ball away with Mahomes. So... Quick recap, slow down a little bit here, talk about what's going on. There are There is, um, I believe, five minutes left in the first half. There's about 50, uh, or about 13 minutes left in the game. And really where we're sitting right now, we are in the driver's seat 100%. Um, the big thing is just not letting the little things, um, not letting that right there is what we could not have happen. And I just don't know. It's just... One of those things where Tyreek Hill is just built different, and this is why people use the Chiefs and you know just a great throw. I mean, just that's also you know if there's a, if that's a gunslinger quarterback, that might actually not be a good read because the the trajectory of the ball with Mahomes comes out a little higher. And so you know when Tyreek Hill is in the slot, one of the things that I need to be a little bit better about is making sure that we have deep protection. And so I, I you know busted a coverage and touchdown, and that's that's how fast it can happen. That's why I recommend um, whenever you're playing Tyreek Hill, I recommend more zone coverage um, than man coverage. But, um, you know, normally I, I kind of thought that Jair would be able to keep up with him. He obviously wasn't. And so now 7-7, uh, seven to seven, just like that, everything's back to a different ball game. And now, again, we're on offense and we need to go down and we need to execute and we need to get, um, you know, a good, good thing going here. So right there, again, knowing to throw the ball away. It's a little thing. It makes a big difference. Now he's run. I think he's running some big nickel. Uh, I think it might be. I don't think it's nickel normal, but it might be nickel normal. Um, you know, and he's using some cover nine principles. Actually, got a really good little defense out of this. Um, but the problem is he's still leaving that matchup over the top on Snead on Adams, and there's another one play touchdown. If he stays with that match coverage, he's going to have to adjust to Devontae Adams being able to hit him over the top every single time if he stays in that coverage. A lot of people don't realize that bunch tight end is a lot different than bunch in the way that the match coverage works against it. And in my opinion, bunch tight end is much harder to stop. So we're going to get back on defense here in just a second. And we have to commit to stopping Tyreek Hill. It's the only player that he wants to throw to. It's the only player that he has thrown to. And so you're going to see a little bit different, different of a... A strategy. Obviously, he's going to be putting Tyreek Hill on post routes. Um, so this is where, and this is where I say, you know, this is where these right here apply. You know, when you start to play someone like this, I like to kind of almost just sit in cover four and, you know, kind of just force him to drive. Um, you know, if, if anything, we're going to force him to drive. And so we're going to man him up, um, have man coverage on Tyreek Hill, kind of cross man. Uh, style of coverage here. If he runs the ball, he might have it. But we've got four quarters up on top and just going to kind of force Tyreek Hill to make some things happen uh, here. And he's going to go over the top, and that's McCole Hardman, and that's why the Chiefs are so dangerous. A um, bunch of random um, setups, random plays, but you can't argue with the fact that this is a shootout and uh, we're going to have to get better. We're going to have to play better defense. Unfortunately, um, you know, with the speed of the Chiefs, it's different than the speed of any other team. Any other team, more than likely, if you have Tyreek Hill manned up, you're going to be fine. But because they have 97 speed and 99 speed, which are two of the fastest receivers in regs, 
it is very difficult to guard the Chiefs over the top. So we're going to have to kind of figure that out. We're going to have to adjust. Um, more than likely, what we're going to probably shift to is a little bit more of a cover two style deep halfing. And then almost like a cover three invert style of defense just to protect against the deep. He, he hasn't been able to really do anything else. Um, and so he's also shown that if we force him to check down, he's not going to be super, super consistent. So uh, offensively, we've got to be, a, you know, we've got to keep scoring uh, with him here. And I'm going to have to throw it away again. And that cover nine is actually very good against PA boot over cover four quarters. Um, some good stuff here. So we're going to have to adjust. And he's actually doing a really, really good job, I think, of taking away the delay fade. Um, and so instead of having the delay fade, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to, um, you know, essentially do this. And now you're going to see an even, you know, better defense here. Now, Rodgers can beat him to the side. And there's that's actually a really good run by Rodgers. Um, obviously, we need to check his fatigue. But that's going to bring up a second one. And so, again, part of this is we're still up a possession. Even though um, his his uh, offense is definitely playing a lot better than it was, we are still indeed up a possession. And so it's really important that we don't waste this. Um, you know, we need to stay up a possession. We need to start checking down. There you see um, – you know, Aaron Jones. Now, remember, we do get ball at half. That's another thing that's super, super important to know. Um, because we get ball at half, it's going to change how he has to play. He has to play a little bit press. He has to start kind of uh, pressing there. And right there, I, this has been something that I've been struggling with for the last, um, I don't know how many weeks, but for whatever reason, sometimes my uh, my controller, I, I go to hit the button and it doesn't, it doesn't do what it, it, it's supposed to do here. So there it is. That's what we were trying to do on that last play. Um, but get ourselves up, scamper for about 12, and put ourselves in a position. I mean, we're going to run inside switch until he stops running match coverage. Um, this inside switch play is really good, um, really, really good against the match coverage. There's Devontae Adams over the middle for a dot and... To be honest with you, um, this is where clock management, I think, is super, super important. Um, when someone's running a lot of cover for match, I think it makes a lot of sense to do a motion over fade and really flood the quarter um, over the top of the right here. So we're going to try that on this route. But the other thing that we've got to pay attention to is the clock. We don't want to give this guy the ball back. He's shown he could score in a second or less. So we really want to try to make sure that we're clocking here properly, um, that we're getting past the two-minute warning on this play, um, and that's really the goal here. So we'll see if we can execute that. We'll get out of the pocket here. And now you see our crosser is wide open. That's exactly what we wanted with that flood that kind of takes that quarter uh, coverage there or that match coverage. And I think he actually ended up just going to cover three sky. Um, so, again, another thing that is hard about regs, sometimes it is hard um, to understand why people are doing what they're doing. Um, so, you know, you're starting, you're playing someone that you don't know. It's, it's all random, really. Um, but right there, we're able to pop him right up the seam for a touchdown. Now, this is probably playing perfectly into his hands. He gets the ball back with time to go down and score. So defensively, we've got to be better than we've been so far. We cannot allow the two fast guys to just run post routes over the top of our heads. So, you know, defensively, we've got to be better about that. Um, but a stop here would be huge. Even if we just hold him to three points, that's huge. Because when we come out, I'm confident we'll be able to go down and score. The question is, you know, can we get consistent stops? I mean, we, we thought we could after that first drive. But, man, he fought back. And this is why money games are so fun to play because – they also will fight. Um, you, you get a lot more fight from your opponent, in my opinion. So right here, um, you know, we're just going to go to some kind of more, um, I would say, just more safe defense. We've got deep halves everywhere um, to kind of take away some of this stuff. He's going to throw over the top again, and there's Jackson, and that's a huge turnover. And there's the adjustment of the speed of the Chiefs. Uh, as you see there, coming back, and that's huge. That's huge. So now, again, we flipped it, and now we need to go down, and we just need a field goal. We don't need a touchdown. We need a field goal, and we need to make sure that he has no opportunity to be able to go down and score. So I'm going right into inside switch. Um, normally, after a, a, a turnover, you're going to see pretty heavy pressure. Um, so we're just kind of expecting that. We're just watching here and just going to take our quick little route there to the back just to kind of see what he's doing. Um, you know, was really was really our strategy on that play. Um, now, when you use out routes, especially against match coverage from the inside switch, it does open up some passing lanes. 
um, for them. So there, as you see, it stretched it out, and uh, Devontae Adams able to do some work over the middle of the field. That's going to bring us up into an actually a really, really tight kind of uh, situation here. And so what you're going to see is I'm going to run a little bit more of a, a basic offensive concept here, a little curl flat concept, um, kind of watching his user, and that was really all we needed right there for the first down. And we have plenty of timeouts, so we're going to go ahead and take one right there. Um, and again, we're just trying – We our goal right here is to get to the 30-yard line. Really, that's all we need to accomplish. We don't have to get a touchdown. We we really, you know, we're really actually in a pretty decent shape. Um, he's ran a lot of match coverage, so that's where some of these flood concepts um, do a very very good job. He's not going to care about the running back again, and we'll take our underneath here. We're going to let the clock go a little bit here, um, and and, and kind of save that second timeout. So we're trying to get this first down here uh, and see what he does defensively. And there is Valdez Scantling over the top. Huge read, huge dot. And right here, our plan is to take the clock all the way down to three seconds and kick a field goal. Now, I'm surprised that he's not taking any timeouts here, putting himself in a position to have a chance. But we're just going to take this all the way down to the three-second mark. Um, really, I, I like to go down all the way to the two-second mark, but just straight up timeout, timeout, timeout. That's going to give us a 24 to 20, or I'm sorry, 24 to 14 advantage heading into halftime, um, which is huge, 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 huge. Um, just need to make sure we make this kick. And now we are going to go into halftime up 24 to 14, and we get the ball coming out of halftime. And the reason that's significant is now we can go down and get seven. And I believe that if you get up by 17 points, it's really hard to come back from it because you're down by a total of three possessions. Um, so you put yourself in a really, really good position um, to have a really good shot at closing this game out. So um, my plan offensively here is just to be smooth, be flawless. This is where, you know, you put it all together, you get a good drive going, you run the ball a little bit. You know, one of the first things I'm going to do um, is probably I'm going to just test his run defense here. And just kind of see, you know, it looks like he's almost in dollar. Uh, I don't even know what he's in right here. But we're just going to test the stretch run uh, and just see here if we can just kind of get some yardage. The other thing that that does is it gets the clock to start ticking. It gets the clock to start ticking. And now that's going to bring up a second down. Now the way that he is playing defense is he is running a ton of match coverage. So that's why we're going to kind of go to this formation, this setup here at a curl flat corner. It's very effective against a lot of different types of match coverage. And here he got it again, and there's Devontae Adams. And now we got a juke. Now we're in the open field, and we broke a tackle, and we are gone. That's a touchdown, 31-14. to Great, um, great game so far from the offense. Offense has put on an absolute show. And like I said, if you want to get the full ebook of what I'm running offensively, that is in the description of this video. I also have a free sample of that ebook available for you if you just text me. So if you text me, I will text you a link to the free sample, which is about an hour long video that kind of goes into detail about you know some of the core foundations of this offense. But now it's all about closing, right? This this is where it's all about closing. So one of my favorite things to do whenever I'm trying to close out a game is I absolutely love to sit in um, some version of cover four. The only problem is because we're playing the Chiefs, um, you can't really do that. You can't really do that well. Um, and so here you see you've got Tyreek Hill. Um, you know, and we're just going to kind of user rush him here, just try to catch him, and we are able to catch him. And this is going to be, you know, we're just going to have to keep closing out here. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do on this play right here is we're going to go into uh, a little bit of max coverage defense here out of the cover three. Obviously, he's got Tyree Kill over the top. We're just, we're not even really thinking about any other player other than Tyree Kill because we're just trying to force him to take time off the clock um, is really our goal. So like right here, you're going to see, I'm going to follow Tyree Kill. Whoever goes up, and I got to get back on him here. Um, I think he might have me, and he does. That's exactly what we were trying to not let happen. I got caught on my user, wasn't able to get back, and that's how fast Tyreek Hill can just change things. Um, you know, really bad defense by me. One of the things that I'm also going to do is I'm probably going to do a little bit of a uh, almost some, some different types of coverages. I've literally thought about just coming out and man up three deep, but 
you know, Tyreek Hill is a problem in regs um, with what he can do from the post routes. It's so hard to use him. You think you'll just use him, but unfortunately that 99 speed is very hard to deal with. So offensively, same kind of thing. You know, we just got to keep scoring and keep closing this game out. Um, you know, defensively, it's really just been three big plays. Uh, if you actually look back at it, you know, he hasn't sustained – uh, really a great drive, in my opinion. It's just been big play after big play after big play, but we've also taken away two of them. So um, that's really the difference in this game right now. So anyway, right here, because he's running so much match coverage, we're going to go into a 2x2. Two two. Match coverage plays a lot differently when you're in a 2x2 two two than when you're in a 3x1. Um, I think it's more of an advantage to the offense, um, which you'll see right there. And there's Adams over the very big dime dot right there. Now, right here, to me, you know, you really, really want to just stay consistent. Offense needs to stay consistent. Now, if we wanted to, we can take some clock here. So we're going to go ahead, just get that clock ticking a little bit. We are in scoring range um, and just kind of try to and, – and there, Chris Jones just said, you know, whatever, I don't think you're going to be able to move. Um, we're actually going to come out in a halfback draw here just to kind of see, you know, what this draw could do against this defense. I'm just trying to, you know, literally just trying to, you know, kind of just perfect. And that's exactly what we wanted um, right there, you know, because he's coming out a dollar every single play. And what I could do is I could even sub in Aaron Jones at the at the slot um, and see right there automatically switches. Um, now we're in a position where, uh, you know, kind of the, the, the way the thing works. Now we can go to our quick pass out of inside switch, just kind of work the flats a little bit. Um and right here, slant route open and misses a wide open dot. Sometimes Gunslinger will do that. It absolutely drives me nuts. But what are you going to do? You're going to have to lock in and execute. Now, this is a big momentum play right here, and he probably knows this. So, you know, I, I'm telling you right now, if he gets a stop here, this is huge for him. So I'm reading. And he is going to go, and we're going to throw an absolute dot to Valdez Scantling over the middle of the field, and that's going to put us in a really good position to close this uh, close this game out. We're going to take every bit of this clock down, and now you start to see, like, limiting the possessions. All of those things are starting to come back and be very effective for us as we close this game out. You're going to see stretch here um, due to the fact that he is man aligning his defense. Um, that tells you that you're you're very open to and susceptible to the stretch run. So we're just going to kind of cut it right back up field, just get some yards, get the get into the quarter, and then we're literally going to run the ball three times. If he if he stops us, that's fine. We'll kick a field goal. You know, it, it, you know, field goal is not the end of the world here. Obviously, you don't want to have to take a field goal. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to put Dylan in the backfield. And we have a little bit of time here to kind of set all this up. But going to put Dylan in the backfield. Maybe if I can get my adjustment set up. And then I like to put a tight end out here so that I can audible uh, back and forth between the sets. I like having Dylan in the backfield, though. And here, he's not in a really good defense. I think he's in dime. Um, we're going to run stretch, maybe a bad call here by us, but we're going to run stretch and Dylan is going to truck his way into the, uh, end zone for us, get us back up by 17 and, uh, we're able to keep the momentum going defensively. It looks like he is going to go ahead and quit out of this game. I think he does realize that it is almost impossible for him to come back. Um, good game to this guy. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys want to see me play Madden live, see these games live, they will be uh, available to you on our streams tonight. We're going to be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time and talking Madden uh, with you guys. So thanks for watching. Again, if you want to get either one of the ebooks, um, they're just 15 bucks a piece. So the offensive ebook is bunch tied in, and the defensive ebook is 335 wide. Both of those are available for you in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the competition and the game. And let me know if you have any questions about anything you watched in the video. My cell phone number is in the description. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern.